Hey what's up everyone, in this new video we will continue working on the start menu so recently we've added this simple menu we can hit the play button and we can play the first level also we can go back but we can't go to the settings menu and adjust some settings in this video we are going to add a simple slider to adjust the volume of these sounds so before we get started make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell and let's jump right into it so the first thing that we need to do is to add a functionality to this settings button when we click on it we need to disable the main menu and enable a settings menu to adjust the volume and to do that it's very simple we just need to select the settings menu and under this on click we can add a list of functions that is called whenever we click on the button for example we want to disable the main menu when we click on the settings button you just need to drag in the main menu then under this no function we can select a function under the game object and it's called set active if you uncheck that it will disable the main menu when we click on the button and we need to enable a settings menu but first we need to create it let's right click UI and let's use a panel let's call it settings menu and let me disable the main menu so that we can adjust our settings menu and I think I'm gonna use a simple background image so the assets that we have downloaded for this game has an image called the cloud we can select one of these I'm gonna select this one and let's increase the alpha to the maximum value then we can adjust the size make sure to select the center option we can select a width for example 500 by 400 so when you are making your own games make sure to be creative also we have to create a back button so that we can go back using right click UI I'm gonna use a button let's call it back button then let's change the width and the height I'm gonna change it to 80 by 80 and if you don't know we are using these sprites that comes with this pack you could find the link to it under the video description I'm gonna drag in this back button and let's change the Y position and this button will do the opposite we are going to disable the settings menu using game object set active false and enable the main menu again make sure to select the settings button and we want to enable our settings menu when we click on this settings button so let's select game object set active true and let's hit play and there you go now we can go to the settings menu and also we can go back so you see it's very simple to add functionalities to these buttons now we need to add the actual slider to adjust the volume but before that I want to mention that I'm using an audio manager script so let's open the level you see that we have an audio manager so if you didn't watch the video about the audio manager and how to add sound effects to your games make sure to check it out and that's because this script uses something called mixer so each audio under this list has a variable that is called mixer but don't worry it's just a simple object that we're gonna create and whenever you change the volume of this mixer the audio itself will change the volume as well so let's go back to the menu I'm gonna disable the main menu and enable our settings menu then I'm gonna right click UI and let's use a simple slider then let's call it volume slider 
Of course, you could go under the inspector and change some settings like the height. Also, we can change the background colors. For example, let's change the background to a darker color. Also, I want to remove this handle slide. I think it's a little bit ugly. And let's change the fill color as well. So if you select the slider, we can change this value. And it's going to update the slider as well. Let's change the fill color. I'm going to use a green one. Also, I want to add a sound image. Under this canvas, let's right click UI and let's use an image. I'm going to call it sound. And let's move it on the X. So you can't see it for now because it's white. Then I'm going to drag in this image and let's adjust the size a bit. And that's pretty much it for our slider. Now we need to add a functionality to it. Whenever we change the value of this slider, we need to change the volume of the mixer. And it's going to update the volume of the sounds that have this mixer. And to do that, I'm going to create it under the audio folder using right click, create. And we have audio mixer. Let's call it main mixer. And to be able to change the volume of this main mixer, you need to select it. Then let's go under window, audio and audio mixer. And here you see that we can adjust the volume. And it's a value between 0 and minus 80. So we need to be able to adjust this volume using our slider. Then it's going to adjust the volume of the other sounds. And to do that, we need to make an exposed parameter. So if you select this master, you see under the inspector that we can adjust the volume from here. But to be able to adjust it from the script, we have to make it as an exposed parameter. Just right click on this volume, then hit expose volume. And that's going to add it under here. We can give it a name. I'm going to call it volume. Make sure to remember that because we're going to use this name to adjust the volume of the master. And to do that, we can create a function. You could create a separate script for that. But recently we've added the menu event script. We can open it up. Then let's create a new function. Basically, it's going to be called whenever we change the slider value. Make sure it's public. Then void. And let's call it set volume. First, we need to read the value from the slider. Let's add a reference to it. The type is slider. But first of all, make sure to use the namespace Unity Engine. Dot UI. Also, let's add the audio namespace using Unity Engine. Dot audio. Then we can create a slider variable using public slider and let's call it volume slider. And each time we call this function, we're going to read the value from the slider using volume slider dot value. Now we can use this value to change the volume of the mixer. Let's add a reference to it. The type is audio mixer. I'm going to call it mixer. Then let's use mixer dot set float. This function takes two parameters. The first one is a string, which is volume. And make sure it's the same name. Let's go under audio mixer. It's this exposed parameter. Make sure to copy the name. Then we need to change its value to the value that we read from the slider. I'm going to cut it and pass it as a second parameter. Let's save our script. Then let's select the slider. 
and under here we have on value changed we can select a list of function that is called whenever we change the value of the slider basically we need to call the function under our script I've attached the script to the canvas then we can go under menu events and you see that we have the function that we have created which is this one of course we need to add a reference to the mixer and the volume slider so let's select the object then let's drag in the volume slider and the mixer as well which we have created under the audio folder and before we test it let's open the level of course make sure to save then we can select the audio manager and make sure to assign the mixer to all of these sounds so that we can adjust the volume of these we can select it from here we have our main mixer make sure to select the master the same thing for the others of course you could add another mixer to adjust the volume of the music or whatever let's go back to the menu then let's hit play now we can change the volume so let's mute the game then let's hit play you notice that it doesn't work and that's because we are missing something basically the volume of the audio mixer is between 0 and minus 80 but the slider is returning a value between 0 and 1 we need to make sure that our slider has a minimum value minus 80 and the maximum value is 0 and then if we move the slider all the way to the left the value becomes minus 80 and it's going to change this to minus 80 as well and let's try to check it out again so if we move the slider all the way to the left then let's hit play and yeah we didn't have sounds in the game and let's increase the volume and there you go so you notice that we have few problems for example if we move the slider then if we close the game and play it again you see it's not saved it's always taking the default value and to fix that we can open our menu events script and let's add a start function so this function is called whenever we start the level we can use it to update our slider value and it's very simple we need to use volume slider dot value and assign the value of the mixer using mixer dot get float and we need to get the volume float and that's what we need we need to get the volume of the mixer and assign it to the slider value and that's what we need each time we start the scene we read the volume from the mixer and assign its value to the slider and that's going to update it but this method is a little bit different it takes the volume that we're gonna read from the mixer and the second parameter is another variable basically this method will assign the volume of the mixer to this variable so we have to create another variable we can make it private float I'm gonna call it value then we can pass it in also we have to pass in the out keyword before this variable I know it's a little bit weird but that's how it works this get float function will read the volume from the mixer and assign it to this value variable now we can use it to change the value of the slider using volume slider dot value equals this value and that's pretty much it now let's save it and let's hit play and there you go now we can change the volume and each time we load our menu 
it's going to read the value from the master and assign it to our slider so i think that's pretty much it guys for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon and i will see you in the next one